Hi, this is John McGuire at the McGuire Law Firm. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the valuation or valuing real property in the context of an offer and compromise. So within an offer, the IRS is going to look at any equity and any asset that you have. Um, many of your assets, it's going to be pretty black and white, a bank account, brokerage account, retirement accounts, you're going to know the value. But with real property, there's somewhat of a subjective uh, context or potential position for the value of that property. So many people will ask, you know, what, what value do we take? Recently, from what we've seen, is the IRS is accepting the most recent tax assessed value on that real property. So if that is what we are in agreement with, we will take that position. You can potentially get a lower value, but generally you're going to have to either contest the tax assessment or have some type of real estate professional do a professional appraisal that shows a lower value and submit that to the IRS and have the IRS accept it. If you have any questions regarding an offer and compromise or related issues, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you.